Good morning YouTube, it's a very special and sad day, let me just clean this camera. It's a very sad and special day at the same time, it's special because it's fucking sunny for once, I've literally not seen the sun in about three weeks. I might not have my top off today, it's not that hot, but this thing's definitely coming off in a minute. And sad, I think I've lost Eddie the Iron Hell. Obviously, guy, all you guys know how much I have all my Iron Hell tools and how much Eddie the Iron Hell absolutely has made so many appearances and he's done so well for the channel, he's helped me out so much. I can't find the bastard this morning anywhere. But nonetheless, we're going to be doing something today without Eddie the Iron Hell. Hopefully, it doesn't cripple me that much. Uh, Iron Hell, please see this and send me a new one. I've got a few things to do. Let me get out this sun because it's fucking blinding me, mate. Got a few things to do to the Cleo today. I've actually ordered quite a lot of stuff already. We're waiting on some parts. But one thing has turned up which I actually wanted to make a full video. One thing has turned up which I'm super excited about and super intrigued about. Um, I, I've actually never seen this modification. I literally went on the Clio forum, or like the, the forums that used to be back in the 2000s and shit. Uh, if you, you still use forums, I'm sorry, that wasn't a dig. I actually Googled the top, well, the, the top mods to do to a Clio 197, and this came up everywhere. This was like number one on the Clio forums. So I was like, what, what does that even, like I've never even heard of it. Uh, anyway, I actually messaged the company and we've managed to get one. This is called a Sprint Booster V3. Yeah, have you heard of one? I haven't. The, the, literally, this has been rated number one on the Clio forums, and I'm not even joking. In like new cars, you can like manage how aggressive the throttle is, um, and obviously on cars like this, you can't. The biggest complaint about the Clios is, is how numb the throttle feels. So here is like you have like a little control unit, and here you have a little sensor or a plug. I'm not entirely sure where it goes. I think it goes either on your either, either between the, the throttle sensor on the throttle, or it goes into the actual throttle body. But nonetheless, it's literally just a little thing. I'm not. I don't even know how you do it. To be I've not even looked, but you can control how aggressive your throttle is. So you can have it at zero race, uh, zero track race, valet mode, uh, like loads of different modes. And basically, the top mode is that it increases the throttle aggressive aggressiveness by 60% crazy we're gonna fit that first and then we're gonna go over all the things in the car because i need to know what i need to order and what i don't need to order so we're gonna literally just do a hell check on the car jack it up see how bad the exhaust is check all the bushes see what's going on the intake i've actually got a, a, an intake here off the off the green light focus which we can use so a uh, load of little bits and bobs sorry i'm talking for so long but yeah let's crack on so here are the main rows so off you've got sprint boosted deactivators it's normal throttle sport which gives you uh, responsiveness of 30 uh, percent and race when it's in red mode and that gives you responsiveness up to 60%. This is the little um, control module itself. You, can, you need to choose automatic transmission on manual. So you bang it onto manual and literally all we need to do is just take the sensor, take the plug off the accelerator pedal, put that one onto the accelerator pedal and then put the standard harness back into there. And then we literally just run a wire from here to here and that's done. So let's get underneath and see if we can find it. That was easy. And, and we're done. <laughs> I'm just going to run this wire up. Um, I guess I might just, I might put it around the side here. I think we've got some little double-sided tape to stick it to and stuff. I'm actually so intrigued to see what this does because, as you say, like I trust the Renault boys fully. And if the Renault boys are saying this is good, then it's obviously going to be good. So I'm just pulling some panels off just so I can basically just run the wire away from the steering column up here. I'm just going to put it there. So we have off. If it's green, it's in sport. If it's red, it's in race, and you have a number there. So one is the least aggressive, and nine is the most aggressive. So um, you can try to choose it. So we'll put nine on race, and then in green we'll keep it on five. So that's like mid aggression. Then we we'll go to race, it goes over to nine, which is full aggression. You also have another valet mode and stuff, but I'm not going to bother with them. That's the main thing. So I'm excited to test that out. But first of all, let's get on with the rest of the car. What is really getting my nerves is the exhaust. It's so frustrating. If you guys didn't watch the last video, basically, there's a huge blow somewhere. I don't mean blow, I mean like it's cracked or something. Something's really bad. Bad to the point where like exhaust is like facing down. I've not brought the huge big jack, so hopefully it's got a little one. I'm just gonna just try and see. Um, I just need to know if I need to get like a cat back or I need to get a full system or, or what, because there's no point in me guessing what I need. So let's just jack it up and we'll have a look. Oh yes, it goes under, thank God. Ooh. Hmm, I actually don't know. Oh, okay, let me try and get some more lighting for you. It actually, it looks like there's a huge, like, crack in there. 
uh, and then it also looks like that little shitty bit there isn't very good so I'm gonna try and squeeze my way under I might get the bigger jack let me go and get the bigger jack and we'll get it a bit higher ah there we go much better okay okay this is just that's fucked oh god yeah it's not even on properly uh, I think it might just be that there oh no that's fucked there the cat here um, that's loose on here Oh, that thing's fucked. You see here, that was once a bolt at one point. It's obviously just been scraping. Like, that's not tight around there. Like, look at that wiggle on that. Like, that's literally just fucking falling off. None of that's good. Like, I'm literally turning that. Look at that. I'm literally... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's not good, guys. I'm just hoping that the manifold's on straight. I mean, it's just a bit weird how that's dangling there because that is literally attached to the manifold, I believe. Yeah, this is definitely a ramp job. We're not going to be doing this on the floor. I'll have to get a Steve Modern Mini will let me borrow their ramp. But at least you know the issue. Quick test on all four corners. Just make sure everything's tight. I've done this side, that's fine. So obviously just left to right, top to bottom wiggle, and it's fine. I actually want to know what springs are on these because it does actually sit really low and it does feel quite tight. So they are, they've got blue springs on. Uh, part of me is saying H&R lowering springs. Usually H and R lowering springs are blue, but if someone who's got a Clio can just confirm that that is the case and it's not some sort of cook sports or anything, uh, I do believe they are H and R's, but if someone just confirm that, that'd be great. So it's actually got a uh, a Cobra, Cobra exhaust on it, so if I can keep that back box somehow, um, then that'd be great. Yeah, let's drop this side up, make sure all the bushes are found on this side. Got something on this side. Find the back, so let's have a look at it here. So something's a little bit wiggly on this side. Is that, what's this shit around the wheel? Is that a plastic thing around the wheel? Oh, it is, no jokes. He's been, oh, fucking get that off. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Oh, fucking hell, we're committed now. Rim protector, stop him twatting the curves. Well, it makes sense, he's been twatting them all on the other side. Have a slight right to left wiggle. Okay, so I've got underneath there and I've uh, started playing around with some stuff. It's, it's literally ever so slight. The only thing I can see that's having a little bit of movement in is the trap rod. Um, so it might just be the trap rod end. So for the time being, I'm just going to replace that because they're easy enough to replace um, and they're cheap enough as well. So we're going to train the trap rod end next time as well. Just get that on top of the list. But let's get under the bonnet, see if we can put that intake on and uh, see if we can get some more investigation into that manifold. Nice little engine. Oh, we have a, a hot air. Oh, no, we don't. We have a cold air intake. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Fuck off. Through here. It actually goes through there. Oh my god, we got a cold air. That is the most questionable air filter I've ever seen in my life. That is definitely not giving us any big dick energy whatsoever. I don't know if it fits, but fuck, it's a bit big. I don't know. No, that's not good. I don't know. That actually might go straight onto the throttle body. <laughs> I mean, it's very unnecessary for a car like this. It should be in there like that. I don't fucking know what's going on, but that, yeah, we don't want one out there. But I feel like now is a good time to say, so, the previous owner actually messaged me. I, I, there's, a lot, there's a lot of paperwork coming come with this car, um, but I did, I've not read through it. Um, but the previous owner actually messaged me, and he said this was his first hot hatch. He had it a couple of years ago, and he loved it. He said he, he changed the belts, the, the water pump, the, the defacer pulleys, whatever the fuck you call them on these. Uh, it's had it had a load of work done. It's had a new subframe because the other subframe started rusting. He polished it every weekend. So it's actually been a looked over, a looked after car. But I think I'm going to pull this off and just do a little bit of inspecting and see if we can. I thought we might actually be able to get that one on there, to be honest with you. Oh, it's Kane then. <laughs> this bad boy ain't fit. We do actually have some uh, different. Um, Ram air filters upstairs. So just going to the office, and they've actually got we've got two Ram air filters left over from the challenge. So we've got a paper one, and we've got a foam one. So they are different ends, and they are rubber. So I'm going to need like a metal bit of pipe, and I'm pretty sure like KN one's got like a metal um, metal metal bit of pipe to connect the two. So let's see if now these are a little bit bigger. That one's a little bit small, and it's a little bit old. So if I can change them out for one of these ones, even better. We'll see which ones fit because they've got different sizes and stuff. So let's have a bit of a play about. And this, I think, is what we're going to run. So it actually fits better in this. It's actually like quite mounted quite well. And the cold air tank is going straight on it down that side. So I think we're going to have it like this. I'm just going to tighten it all up, and that is going to be our new setup. Right. So all that's left now is to take it for a spin, and we'll actually see. Um, 
what the, if these things made a difference? I'm, uh, I've got high hopes. Sorry guys, I've just been at the gym. So we're gonna drive home now. I'm actually gonna test out the speed booster. Very excited. I hope it makes a big difference. Let's get the GoPro and yeah, hope it makes a difference. And uh, but yeah, I've chose the wrong time. It's fucking five o'clock, but we'll give it a go. So this is in our exhaust so bad. So this is in uh, normal. So off throttle, back on. Okay, so let's put in the race one. Let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> that does, that's a huge difference. They say it's not as uh, prominent as, as like my M3 was in like comfort and M mode. Definitely not. Um, but it makes a difference. That was on the hardest setting as well. So I'm in race mode number nine. So this should be the, the, the most aggressive setting. It is like, you can hear it here. So like, I'm gonna do the same input. And then in the race, same input. So hopefully that comes across on camera. Uh, so I'll do that one more time, put in a bit of a higher gear, a lower gear. So same input. That's in uh, race, this is off, exactly the same input. And then race. So he's just wanting to go a little bit more. I bet the guy behind him is like, what is this dickhead doing? Um, so you can actually get them. They don't sell them themselves on the website, but they have like distribu di uh, distributors. So if you go on their website, you'll be able to see who distributes these. Yeah, there we go, guys. I hope you like this little video. As you say, we know what we need to do now. I actually think, I j I've actually looked at some pictures online of what an exhaust is like. I actually just think I need a new clamp for the for the uh the cat side and then i think i just need to just put that you know get a normal bracket again maybe a bit of an exhaust paste and put that cover back box on the cat again so i actually gonna try that first i don't think i'm gonna need any new parts i think i'll just literally need just new clamps easy little install does make a big difference like even when you're just cruising around like this it's way more responsive thanks for watching everyone i love you all and we'll see you in the next video